This is the technique for welding large gaps using argon arc welding. The best way to weld large diameter flat tubes is with electric and gas shielded welding. In some situations, electric and gas shielded welding may pose a fire risk, so we will use argon arc welding. This episode shows how to weld flat tubes using argon arc welding. If the two flat tubes are welded like this. To aid the demonstration, we will first make a tack weld. Lightly grind the welding area. If the saw isn't working well while cutting. Or if using an angle grinder to cut. The cut may be uneven. When welding a 90 degree angle, gaps may occur. Let's say we can weld while rotating. This is the order of welding. As you can see, this side has a small gap. This side has a large gap. Best to start welding the small gap side first. More filler is used for the large gap, so the heat input is higher. If we weld the large gap side first, the positioning weld may crack. More filler in welding leads to higher temperature. The force causing deformation here will also increase. It's best to check this gap first. Weld it well, this direction is on the opposite side of the workpiece. This will reduce the likelihood of deformation. We need to consider reverse deformation while welding. It's the same as welding flanges, weld inside first, then outside. If we mark the four welding directions with numbers, the welding order is 1, 2, 3, 4, before completing number 1. Let's take a look at the workpieces number 2. There's a large gap this time, requiring more filling and a thicker weld. Considering this, it's recommended to weld on the side with smaller gaps. You can see that when there is no gap or a small gap, welding is easy. The difficult part is the side with the large gap. There are many methods for welding large gaps. This video demonstrates three methods suitable for beginners. The first method is the most effective and straightforward for beginners. It involves placing a thick welding rod or metal piece into the gap before welding. By reducing the welding gap, the chances of distortion decrease or become negligible. This method is suitable for those new to welding large gaps. Hmm, is it really that easy? But what if there's no metal or time to find some? How do we weld? At this point, we use the second method. This involves two welding steps. First, we fill the gap with a thick rod. Then we finish with a cover weld. That's what the weld looks like when done. What if the gap is wider? How do we weld then? If the gap is completely filled, the weld might look too large and unattractive. In that case, we use the third method. Perform additional welding at the angled cut of the pipe. Reduce the gaps in the pipe. The weld must be above the surface of the flat pipe after welding. This way, you can grind with an angle grinder. It will be more convenient. The remaining gaps have reduced. Filling the welds is much easier now. Grind the part above the flat pipe surface with the angle grinder. After grinding, locate the marked area for cover welding. That's how it looks after welding. These three gap welding methods are also easy to learn. As the saying goes, the method isn't always the right answer but it's one of the methods that can be applied in this situation. That's all for this video. If you find the video helpful, please like, subscribe, and save.